What is good, Vibe Gang? It is your boy Ray here with another one. Shout out to all the dodo. Shout out to all the subscribers. We have 57,900 and change. Oh, for little old me. Yeah, I shouldn't have. Shout out to all 57,000. Shout out to Jennifer. Shout out to uh, Diana. Shout out to Eric. Shout out to uh, uh, Lyrics. Shout out to you. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go through the whole 57,000 of them. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. You guys are fucking awesome. Now, you know how I don't steal you wrong on videos. You know, I don't steal you wrong, steer you wrong on artists or rappers or anything like that. Usually you guys pretty much trust me with type of music y'all coming new to. This is my man Lyrics. I understand, son. I got some, I got some reactions of this man. And, and not only is he a dope rapper, but he's also one of the dopest human beings I've ever met in my life. This is my brother from another mother for real, for real. Like not even, I'm not even trying to exaggerate. This is my brother. He dropped a track. Granham Avenue flows. DJ Manny faces and Goonies. Now understand, Goonie, understand something right now. Lyrics is a type of rapper that he, he talks to you when he raps. Like, he makes you reevaluate your life after you hear a track because he's kicking knowledge to you. He talks that talk talk with the swag to match. So, get your ibuprofen, get your water, get stay hydrated. The link, the name is going to be down below. You need to go follow my mans right now. Before we get to the video, real quick, I just want to show you guys something dope. I'm starting a collection right now that's going to be soon. It is a work in progress, but soon it's going to be my background, my new background that I'm going to do. So I got my man, two, Tupac from Tupac. You already know what it is. You already know what it is. And we got my man, Jimmy motherfucking Hendrix and Elvis motherfucking Presley. So we put nothing but legends up here, man. You understand me? Legends. It's gonna be my legend wall. I'm not taking it out the box. Don't even worry about that. Now, enough of all those shenanigans and whatnots. Where, where's this at? Where, where's the where's the thing at? Where's the, there we go. Federico, cut that shit, man. Lyrics. Goonie. DJ Manny Faces. For a second, I thought it said DJ Manny Fresh, and I was like, what? You ain't getting paid, nigga. <laughs> It's a brick, 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 brick. He's broke. That's what he is. Lyrics. It is on you. Let's fucking go. How he's feeling that shit though. Oh, my man's getting into it, into it for real. That's how you know it's gonna be a fire beat. Because look at the emotion that he uses. He's feeling the notes. He's feeling what to place, what, where. To, that's alone in a room. He doesn't have an entourage around him. He doesn't have dirty motherfuckers around him smoking weed and drinking and doing all types of crazy shit. It's just him in a room by himself and the cameraman. And that's it. And he's just he's just creating. I like the way it started with the beginning of how he's putting everything together. With the pianos and then the drum and the bass and then he cut that shit is fire, bro. <laughs> Yeah, that 
nigga said that was it. <laughs> that nigga said that was it. That's the one. Let me call my man Lurch real quick. I see it on the phone, man. Let me call my man Lurch real quick. <laughs> you call the right one. That's a lyric type of beat right there. You got an iPhone 6. Gordy, what up? Gordy, what up? Started all on grandma. Hold on, nigga, I almost, I almost paid your car payment. Don't be saying, don't be doing that. Do it again. Shit, right to it, bro. Right to it. Ah. Let's get it. Okay. Uh. Let's go. Drop projects back to back like Fab and Neats. The wrong turf, but I still went and grabbed my cleats. Mom's passed. I <laughs> wrong turf, but I still won't go and grab my cleats? Dropping projects like I'm. Come on, dog. It's too early for that. Lyrics, you can't be catching them like that. All oh, frit, brother. Your type of music, the way you rap, you need to you need to raise it. You can you start slow. People need to get comfortable. When you when you come off rip with shit like that, that's how niggas be like, you know what, man? I'm too dumb to listen to this dude. I can't catch up to what he's spitting. You know what I have to say? Fuck that. Rap like that. If that's the beginning, just imagine what the fuck the middle and the end's gonna be. Come on, dog. Let me do that to these niggas, man. You making them look lazy? Like Fab and Neats. The wrong turf, but I still went and grabbed my cleats. Mom's passed. I was sad. Had a stash to grief. Judy's right. boy. This the sequel to that masterpiece. Platform. Assuming that y'all want more. Y'all been Simmons. I pass balls. You don't want score. Ooh. Oh, that. <sighs> Go watch that reaction. I did that reaction to that one. I did the reaction to that one. Judy's boy, I did the react. That is, a, he said it. It's a masterpiece. This is the sequel to that? Thank God I took my ibuprofen. I said, oh, had a stash to grief. Judy's boy, this the sequel to that masterpiece. Clap for me. Assuming that y'all want more. Y'all been Simmons, I pass balls. You don't want to score. I wanted more. Never played how the dust played. My nana was a lunch aide. Said, watch how your lunch made. We dumb spades and dinner with the hearts of kings. They were puppet masters, but we treat them like they lost their strings. Y'all know this. Puppet kings, we treat them like they puppet masters. Until but we the one to cut the strings? Come on, dog. Talk about Spazy in with Kings and Queen. Come on. Yeah, I, I have to understand something. This is called intricate rapping. Schemes galore. Metaphors galore. If if you not up to that type of level of rapping, which I doubt, all 57,935 of you. Absolutely know what good music is. You know why? You know why? Go down all my comment sections and all my videos. Go ahead. I, I saw something the other day that kind of surprised me. I rarely see no negative, nothing on there. Everything is positive. Everything's love. That's how I know that you all guys are agreeing with my type of thinking and my, my, my mentality. Because you guys knows what's up. 57,000 people. You know you can make an army with that? I could take over a small little island. I love all of you. That's from the bottom of my heart. Talk to the niggas, man. Yo, Lurz can fucking rap. <laughs> Dealing with the hearts of kings, they were puppet masters, but we treat them like they lost well, their strings. Y'all yeah, know the stats, these niggas thoughts is in the coldest yeah. set. This ain't a store, if he the best, then I'ma close the I gap. Got. We know the rats, so we ain't trying to conversate. Nope. More than kind of fix, so ain't shit for us to contemplate. Nah, Told you I'm wait for he sentenced my man. He ain't been a bad boy since his visit with Pam. <laughs> yeah, he might hit the stand, but he'll never testify. Never. Sending Kite's home, reminiscing how he let it fly. Bring it back home. So, you see, and that's another thing, man. Lyrics, lyrics wears his his feelings on his sleeve. Like, you can see where he's coming from with everything that he says. 
He's always talking about his struggles, shit he's been through, people's he's lost. But he puts it together. He, his music speaks for everything. You want to know how he feels about anything? Because he's very transparent in everything that he does. But not only, not only that, the intricate rap and then you mix that. Does that sound like? Sounds like Pac to me. And this is why I say that. When it comes to content, when it comes to delivery, when it comes to trying to put a message out there that once the person finishes seeing or hearing that message, they know 110% who they fucking with. This conscious rap that he does is in a difference. It's old school, but it with a new school feel. Now, it's very difficult to try to do that. He pulls it the fuck off. Talk to him nice. Damn, but he'll never testify. Sending kites home, reminiscing how he let it fly. His exercise from the bench now in the best five. Got me TLC, but getting punched in the left eye. Blinds I scrimmage with. Nigga, what? Hold on, nigga. You ain't gonna catch me like that. Hold on. Damn, I send it kites home, reminiscing how he let it fly. Remember that? His exercise from the bench now in the best five. Got me TLC, but getting punched in the left eye. Got me TLC, but got punched in the left eye. TLC, Tebow, Chili, and left eye. Rest in peace, left eye. He, he talk to him nice. Talk to him nice, bro. Fire. Exercise from the bench now in the best five. Got me TLC, but getting punched in the left eye. Lines I scrimmage with. Why we see we make the corners uh -huh. move. Y'all learning that he hot. Like them kids up in them summer it's schools. Bunch of fools came to play now. He's learning that he's hot like the kids out in summer school. Because when you're in summer school, ain't got no AC in it. It don't work. <laughs> it don't work. It's hot. It's fucking in that classroom. <laughs> Lyrics, shut up, nigga. You can't be doing that to the niggas like that. It's TLC, but getting punched in the left eye. Lines I scrimmage hard. with. Why we see we make the corners uh -huh. move. Y'all learning that he hot. Like them kids up in them summer That's schools. Right, right. Bunch of fools came to play. Now we coach the coaches. Can't take advice from a nigga who don't know shit. I told Chris. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This nigga makes me want to smoke a cigarette. I haven't smoked a cigarette on camera in a while. But this nigga's making me feel like an old uncle that is... is is watching my nephew grow. I'm proud of this nigga, man. He put in the work and it's showing. That's a fact. Hold on, we gotta talk about this for a minute. Do you did you guys hear that the TLC bar? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If you are not, if you you have to come into his music in a certain way. You have to come into his music understanding. They, there's going to be some shit that he's going to say that you're not going to catch the first try. Nobody is going to catch anything the lyric says the first listen. And if you said that you did, then you're lying. You're absolutely lying. It takes me... I already have it down pat pretty much with lyrics. Specifically lyrics. I am comfortable to say... That I have in all the rest of the music that I reacted to these dudes about the uh, with lyrics and Matt Cleave, I've so far caught in about ninety five percent of everything that they said in all the rest of the songs that I did. It takes time, brother. These motherfuckers are intricate and they it's layers to this shit. So get a thesaurus and a dictionary. Have them fucking come up with another book to understand what the fuck these niggas are saying. Hey, now we coach the coaches. Can't take advice from a nigga who don't know shit. I told Chris back when we used to work together. Life's fabulous. Cold summers made me merge the weather. My right. words clever. You nerves better. Choose words better. How much cheese for a verse? You better serve cheddar. From bar work to... How much cheese for a verse? You better serve cheddar. Oh, cheddar's expensive. Sharp cheddar is very expensive. Just thoughts, me and Pam Tad. Mom's fretting, started out on Grand Mad. Grams came, she kicked me out my room, though. I started writing, and my weight is like a sumo. From Ballbrook to just. I started writing, and this weight is like a 
Come on, Lyric. I'm done with this. <laughs> Fuck. You the only nigga that when I listen to your music, you give me allergies, nigga. My room, though, I started writing and my weight is like a sumo. From Ballbrook to Jet Stars, me and Pam Tab. Mom's Freddy started that on Grand Mad. Right. Grams came, she kicked me out my room, though. I started writing and my weight is like a sumo. Yo. Judy Shad, I let y'all tell her I'm the rudest no, one. Nah. Just cause you shoot off your mouth don't mean you the gun. Sure I gave Pinky the finger, that's just my rule of thumb. You wanna bubble? Nigga, what? I give Pinky the finger, and that's my rule of th Yo. Yo, this, oh. This nigga, that was hard. That was fucking hard. Sumo. Yo. Judy Shad, I let y'all tell her I'm the rudest no, one. Nah. Just cause you shoot off your mouth don't mean you the gun. Sure I gave right. Pinky the finger, that's just my rule of thumb. You want a bubble, gotta watch how you chew your gum. Yeah. Son, I took poor, being rich is an ill feeling. I spend gold since 2 H like I'm the real dealer. We still building on the blocks like we still dealing. Y'all still squilling, sky's the limit, that's a real ceiling. These red jewels, name a place where you can find these. Me and Cleve, I call them twin like we sign me. Right. Sticks, not a right. ball, teach your fans nope. lessons. If but you know what's crazy about that? Like him and Matt Cleave, they call him brother because they're Siamese. Because Matt and it, Matt and Lyric together make an unstoppable duo in this rap shit. I think I would put I would put Matt Cleave and and and, and Lyric's against almost everybody that is on the come up right now. I would put both of them. Like if you if you're talking about record for record, if you talk about lyrically, like judging it lyrically wise and structure wise, I'll put them both against a lot of people. I'm just saying. That intricate rap shit is is difficult to do. These niggas do it like like it's a part time job. Call them twin like we Siamese Toe sticks, not above, teach your fans lessons If I'm wrong, please forgive me for my transgressions Plan perfection, whole hood be like Nimrod But these ain't rhymes, they more like my memoirs Now they stepping like they hanging with the cappers They ask where I'm from, mine's hanging in the rafters Laughing at the chatter, you a bum with your hands out Beats getting totaled like I broke the shit at Pam's house They not cut from this cloth, so they rush the mall It's like and in the rafters, sure. laughing at the chatter. You a bum with your hands out. Beats getting totaled like I bought the shit at Pam's house. They not cut from this cloth, so they rush the mall. Yeah. It's like Shaq, they won't foul for our sister ball. ball. But what's yeah. the call? Oh, it's like Shaq is going to foul before I touch the ball. <laughs> oh my God, boy. Boy. Like the metaphors is on point with this one, my brother. And you know what I appreciate the most, though? I've known lyrics right now. What's it been like? Um, we're almost going like on a year. I, I've listened to the majority of his music, and I I love it because I see the growth. I see how every track it just gets better. It gets more intricate. It gets more 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 challenging to understand, which I love because that just these are the type of rappers that make you keep your, your brain quick. It keeps your brain open to see if you can catch as much as what they're saying in one shot. I mean, it, it, it's very difficult being being friends with, with these guys that I react to because I want, I want to do their reactions justice and show them as much love as I can because I see so much potential in all of them. And, and it just sucks that the game, the way it is right now, it makes it difficult for actual talent to get to where they need to be. And, and I'm not saying about signing contracts with nobody. I, I don't even talk about any of that. I'm talking about, like, on the come up, like, yo, this guy can rap. I'm going to invest my time. I'm going to invest my, my, my money on him because just the way, the way that he writes his shit, the way that he delivers his shit. Like, who gives a fuck about who has the fucking nicest chain or the nicest car or the, or the nice, 
if you can't rap worth a shit, then what the fuck is that? You got that's what got the game twisted. Motherfuckers worry more about what the fuck they look like than what the fuck they say on the mic. And it's sad to fucking see me going up back in the days with 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 with, with Biggie and, and and Pac and 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 L Cool J and all these all these phenomenal Wu Tang Nas J. All these phenomenal rappers. So when I hear something like this, it kind of brings me back a bit. But at the same time, it's being relevant because he's talking about current events. And, and there's sometimes in some of his songs that he kind of kind of uses the new flow that he's using right now. But he's making it his own. And that mixture right there, that's fucking perfect chemistry. Because it makes everything that you get on sound so smooth. I've been I've been hyping you up too much there. I need to stop this. So they rush the mall. Yeah. It's like Shaq, they won't foul for us. It's the ball. ball. But what's yeah. the call and what you pull another deck uh -huh. for? Miss Parker House, I was that low nigga oh, next door. I press so she in this doing, she pressing record. Now we lean up and you mad cause she letting me score. Check your source, me and Rach and Biscataway. Talking like, over lunch, I'm trying to hear what she had to say. It's past safe, but these niggas never liked you. They smile in your face and do shit just to spite you. She right too, it's well done when we order beef. Been on my theme since I first heard my daughter speak. It's, it's just the way he talks, man. He's kicking so much fucking game. It's ridiculous. Boy, man. Shout out to you. This, this deserves the views that you got right now, man. This deserves a lot more than the views that you got right now. He's kicking games to y'all niggas. Y'all niggas don't even know. Man. Two is well done when we order beef. Been on my theme since I first heard my daughter speak. From upstate to Midwest, they like he still flames. KC the Buffalo was cheap before the bills came. From bar work to just thoughts, me and Pam. KC the Buffalo to go to get Buffalo bills. Come on, dog. That nigga stupid. <laughs> Talk to that blurry. Tad, mom's Freddy started out on Grand Math. Grand Grams Math. came, she kicked me out my room though. I started writing and my weight is like a sumo. From Ballbrook to just us, me and Pam Tad. Mom's Freddy started out on Grand Math. Grams came, she kicked me out my room though. I started writing and my weight is like a sumo. Yo, yo, yo. Y'all already know. Grand Math went on the floor. Grand Math. Yeah. Nigga drunk. <laughs> Nigga just flicked off the camera 14 times. Hold on. I like the way that ended too. I like the way that ended too. Ooh wee. That ended that it sounded hard. Lyrics. I, I, I think I've already said it all, bro. I had no doubt in my mind that this was going to be flames. I had no doubt in my mind. I already knew that was going to happen. But I appreciate this track, man. I see the levels. The levels are different. And I appreciate you, my brother. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that. Like I said, his link, his name, everything's going to be down below. Shout out to DJ Matty Faces and, and, and Goonie for, for making this, this video and making the beat. and Everything looks so good. It sounded so fucking well. You guys are a perfect trio. So shout out to all of you. I love you guys. Please go follow my man. And I'm going to talk to you guys in a minute. I got Mo coming. Peace.